the old dog they call Thor, he all he had false teeth falling out him out. Well, Jacobo and Tom, they had to take off Susie, the old cat who was in the well, they pull her out the well. And as soon as Susie come out the well, and she see all those nice musical instruments of Jacobo, Susie went straight to the steel pan, and Susie started to play. <laughs>
following us. The others then stand up and then look to the side and look on the other side and look in front and look behind and look everywhere. They can't see nothing following them and they say they have to continue because if they stop, they won't be in time to participate in the contest talking Ghana. So they continue. But little do they know something was following them. This creature was looking. It would hide behind a tree and then take out and hope and look at them again and then follow them and then he would hide behind a stone and then he would see all these nice beautiful feathers coming out. Nice colors that don't match no, but they're beautiful and nice. And then he would see two small little foot coming out so and a long sharp mouth coming out. Stand up still again. I could smell it and close by. The others didn't see nothing. But then Jacobo, Jacobo saw behind the stone, close to where it was standing, he could see the feathers, the beautiful feathers, the low match though, are coming out. So the three of them they decide they can gang up on this creature, this thing that's following them. And they start all three of them. They come closer. Closer. What is that following them? What kind of creature is this? Wait one. Carlo, the opera singer. Oh, 